Hello, my name is Fenrir Thorvaldsen. Yes, that is my real name. Uh, people call me Fen. Uh, today I am going to sarcastically make you a uh, keto coffee with peanut butter. Um, when I first had one I thought it was going to be the most disgusting rank stuff on the planet and when I had it it was wonderful so um, here is my recipe. So what you will need one tablespoon of the cheapest crappiest peanut butter you can buy okay so this is co-op unknown brand it is uh, really, really high in fat, very low in carbs. So I think it's about nine. What is it? Nine fifty-three grams of fat to seven point two grams of um, carbohydrate in this, which roughly works out at fourteen percent and one percent to forty percent fat. And we're going to use a tablespoon of this. So at the end of it, we can count our calories. We'll get nine point seven grams of fat and 1.3 grams of carbohydrate once you drink your coffee. So I'm gonna get on with it. The hot water is boiled, I've got my cafetiere ready. Uh, I'm gonna speed this bit up because it's boring. So that's the cafetiere cooking. As you can see, it took me a long time. I've burnt my fingers and I've spilled coffee everywhere. But um, this isn't a professional cookery program, so tough shit. Next, what we're gonna do, we get one of those blender blendery things. This one is a Breville. You've probably got a Nutribullet or something because you could. And we're gonna get our peanut butter. It's the wrong one, it's the one I've not already opened. This one, I will get it right. We get a tablespoon. That's the big one. That's not a tablespoon. That's a dessert spoon. And that's a tablespoon. Yeah. Testing this out. Okay. So we get a tablespoon, roughly 18 grams of the good stuff. I like chunky crunchy because I am chunky and crunchy. Let me put that in there. Okay, then we add some Truvia, Stevia, okay, this is uh, three times sweeter than sugar, so I would have a heaped teaspoon of that, more real calories from carbohydrate than that, and now we just wait for the cup to uh, So that's the coffee cooked. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add the hot coffee to the peanut butter without putting it on the hands or all over the place. It smells really good. By the way, if I've offended anyone with the way I make coffee, I don't really care. You make it however you want to make it. And then put my lid on. Pretty straightforward. Just do that. And I stick it in my liquidizer and we give it a blend. Okay, so I have my uh, bulletproof, it's not bulletproof, is it? It's peanut butter. Ooh, peanut butter coffee. Open this up. It's probably a bit warm for me. It's really good. So, quick recap. Coffee, two measures of espresso. Cheap coat peanut butter. You're gonna use a tablespoon in your blender for two for a double espresso. And you're gonna have 9.7 grams of fat in that, which roughly works out at um, 
14 percent fat. Um, tastes really good. Enjoy.